right, I want us to look at something here. This is me obeying Tim Sykes. Okay, let, let me go over this again. I took all of my trade records. Um, as you can see, I just I just started trading November 2020 up to yesterday, up to March 2021. Okay, so this is all my results, right? And this just me after watching Tim Sykes videos. The tickers, the position I did, the date, the size, position size, where I enter, when I exit. The only thing I'm not even showing you all is the pattern. We don't need to look at that at all right now. This is something that I've never seen no trader do. How much the price rose up from after I enter. This is important. Okay? Now, I was going through all of these. I print this out, right? And I sat down for like about an hour going through this, trying to see what I could fix, what my problems is, how I could fix my stuff. And I came across this one right here. This is what Tim Sykes teaches. Let me highlight this, this, and this. Let me, let me highlight what Tim Sykes teach. He teaches small position size, enter a stock that will rise up 50 cents or more. So when I entered at $10.09, the stock rose up to 17, or it rose up $6.12. This position size is just a little too small for me. I don't think I would ever, I, this one was a test because I just started, this was my second trade. It was a test, but this is practically what Tim Sykes teach right here. This was a good trade. You see that? See, and this would, this would shocks a lot of traders. They don't think that you could have $10 position size and make a thousand dollars. Look at this. Look at this folks. The stock was $10. I bought just a hundred position size, and I made practically a thousand dollars because I applied what Tim Sykes teach. This is important right here. You have to find stocks that will rise up to fifty cents or higher. If you look, look at this. Look out! Look out over here. This is why I did this like this, and nobody else has done it. Look how much, when I enter the stocks, it rose up a dollar and 75 cents from where I entered. My, most of my average is close to what Tim Sykes was teaching. That was my purpose. 40 cents, 30 cents, 48, 88, 52, 50, 66, 82, 73, three dollars and 50, 60 cents, a dollar 48. I was doing my best to stick to what Tim Sykes was teaching. Find stocks that's going to rise up this much. 66 cents, over 50 cents. Look at, look, look at my average. You vaguely seeing me enter stocks where it don't rise up much. Look at this. All of these average is close to 40 and over, 40 cents and over. Look at these. Look at the average. Look at the average. All of these, you see how you see how far these this rise up? Two dollars and thirty-four cents. Three dollars and four dollars. It rose up four. No, no, my bad, my bad. I lost. It rose up a dollar and seventy-three cents. And then I can come to these losses too. Because then I can explain to you why Tim Sykes say hurry up, cut losses. I can get to this in a minute. I just want you to see I'm obeying Tim Sykes. Now, let me explain this. Not in every trade I obeyed him. We have a trade here. Um, our max. This one. This is Tim Sykes again. I went through all of these, and this was me obeying Tim Sykes. This is what to do. Small position size, 900. But this is, again, this, this, why is this backwards? I entered at 11. 
and I, and it rose up to fourteen or three dollars and fifty nine cents. You see this? This is what Tim Sykes teach. Small persistent size, but you gotta enter a stock. I can keep saying it. You have to enter a stock where it can go up to fifty cents or more. Now here's some questions people ask. Somebody say, how do you find those kind of stocks? Tim Sykes teach high percent gainers. That's the first thing. Second, when you enter the when you look at the ticker after it rise up a hundred percent or fifty percent, if it looks like one of the patents he teach, gap up, break out, or dip by, if it looks like or you see it forming into one of those um patents, that's when I entered. And this is just a rough draft. What I'm going to do next is show you all how the chart looked before I, when I entered $10.09. And then I can show you how it played out and how it looked. How, I, I need to show you all that because this is just, this is just half of it. Now, I want to look at some of my losses here. Let's look at, I want to look at that big one down here. Come on, man. What, 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 what? This one. Look at this. You ever had Tim Sykes say cut losses quickly? I made plenty mistakes here. One mistake was this. Position size was way too big. And I held for way too long. I've, I, I, and, and this is this is it. I can't have my losses being this big. Why? Because my gains. Let me try to explain something to y'all. Look at this. If you only get in stocks that rise up average 30, 40, 50 cents, I'm going to make a, a, a thousand. You got to make sure if you lose, it goes down 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents. The reverse will happen. If you stay in the in, in the trade and it go down 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, it's going to be a huge number. Just like as you see it here. I stayed in and it, and it went up. I stayed in until $1.70. And you see how big this number is? If it went down a dollar seventy, it would be a minus thirteen thousand six hundred with this position size. This is a reason, and this is where I made the mistake. The position size is too big. It's obviously I, I. This is what. This is why I'm saying, when you have a small position size and it goes against you, you're not going to lose a lot. But at the same time. You could have a small business in size and still come up with a huge profit if you enter a stock that will rise up to 50 cents or more. If it don't, you're not going to have a big profit. So try and get what I'm saying, Dred. Here's my issue. I, I did here. What would I do different than this? Obviously, I was going to lose this one regardless. I can't do anything else. I was going to lose this. What I would have done was put the position size to be 2000 at least. And if it dropped if it dropped like 20 cents, I would have been I would have I would have been out. You, you see what I'm saying? I would have been out. I don't know why in the world I held hold this until it dropped down to $4. That's crazy, dread. I don't know why in the world I did that. See, with these, I was trying to control my my losses. But 50 cents is still a whole lot. That's a whole lot. I need to try to get out by at least 20 cents. So at least 10 to 20 cents. At least. And, and, and when I start trading again um, next week, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna have smaller position sizes, maybe a two thousand or less, and get out. If the if I start losing, make sure when it go down, maybe ten cents, fifteen cents, just get out, red. So that's my plan for this week.
This is awesome, though. 